Hello and welcome back to my lab. To my new lab? <laughs> no, this video is on request. And the question was, what do I need minimum if I want to do some services on CB radios? And uh, well, the problem he said is I have to do it on a budget. So I do not have much money, but I'm so interested in uh, CB radios and uh, in electronics and yeah, you know, and in repairing uh, thatch and uh, doing maintenance and whatever. And therefore, what you can see here is the minimum, really, really the minimum, what you need if you want to do service, repairs, maintenance on CB radios. Okay, so let us go a little closer and uh, let's have a look what uh, we have. Um, I mean, it is clear we have uh, two different uh, big portions in um, a radio and that is uh, on one hand the transmitter and on the other hand we have the receiver. And uh, for both signal passes, you need uh, your dedicated equipment. And therefore, what uh, you can see here is a build of uh, servicing both sides. So the TX side and, of course, the RX side. And, uh, well, this is really... Uh, on a budget so all what you can see here uh, you can get for little money or you can uh, build by yourself and uh, well let's have a look um, what it is so first of all we have of course our uh, TX side okay so I hope we can see it First of all, we have of course our TX side and for TX we need a watt meter to see if the radio is producing power. And uh, you know especially for, um, yeah it is, I, I do not really know uh, what uh, the laws are in uh, your countries but uh, in, in Germany uh, legal CB radio has, has um, f 4 watt uh, TX output on um, AM and uh, FM so 4 watt is uh, the maximum and in the past we only had 1 watt on uh, TX so therefore you do not really uh, need uh, big equipment so this little meter here is uh, good enough so uh, let me go um, a little a little closer and um, well you you have seen um, in the first scene that I have already equipped a radio to our uh, test setup and uh, well with this little watt and uh, SWR meter we can uh, simply check the radio uh, for uh, TX power and therefore now our watt meter is uh, connected to uh, the radio and uh, when I now pushing the PTT you can uh, see here on the scale that uh, this radio is producing power so well that is really the minimum we go um, a little bit more into it uh, in a bit um, but now let's uh, have a look what we have else so what you always uh, need is a digital multimeter 
so that you are really able uh, to have more or less accurate um, voltages uh, which you need uh, to probe everywhere in, in the radio so therefore um, you really need uh, a digital multimeter and uh, uh, today these multimeters are really cheap so uh, you can uh, already get um, a true RMS multimeter for about uh, 50 bucks or less so that is uh, something what you really need and uh, well if uh, you have a bit uh, more money so you can uh, invest in a bit better multimeter um, but uh, anyway so you get uh, a decent one for around 50 bucks so no problem uh, whatsoever well um, secondly uh, it is uh, very often of uh, yeah big help to to have an analog meter in your lap uh, as well because uh, sometimes you need to do some alignments and then um, it is uh, more uh, easy to do the alignment with an analog uh, needle um, especially um, yeah, I can, no, I can I cannot demonstrate it right now but but anyway um, if uh, you have to do some alignments you know it is uh, much more comfortable to follow uh, the needle and uh, to adjust it to the best uh, point then to follow you know uh, the digit so that can be uh, a bit annoying when you are turning um, some uh, transformers or whatever in your in your radio so therefore um, it is it is uh, sometimes much better to do it uh, with an analog and um, well therefore this is nice uh, to have and these uh, analog uh, meters are as well not very expensive so this is always uh, a good idea and uh, this model is uh, already an FET um, analog meter so there is an F FET transistor in the input circuit so that means this already has um, a very good input resistor so therefore you have uh, very accurate um, measurements well then of course you need you need um, a little um, regulated DC power supply and uh, yeah it really need to, needs to be regulated so if if you buy um, an uh, power supply you always should uh, you should really look for a regulated uh, one and uh, well this one um, is a very small one it is uh, 2.5 uh, amps continuously and um, 3.5 amp um, on the peak so this is already sufficient for um, CB radios for legal CB radios but if you are uh, looking for a more um, better one so a one uh, which is able to handle also radios with a higher RF output so maybe 50 uh, watt or, or so then you should better uh, watch out for a regulated DC power supply which uh, is able to deliver yeah let me say 15 amps or 20 amps so 20 amps is uh, already good uh, to serve um, power amplifiers up to yeah let me say 100 uh, watt so that uh, is on your own decision but uh, when you are just starting up this one may be um, 
the right uh, starting point and you always can uh, change it so maybe in the future um, and uh, maybe when you have uh, some more money in your pocket you like to get a power supply which is uh, telling you the voltage and the drone um, power so that is very helpful but uh, you do not really need it right from the beginning this is uh, okay for the beginning and then um, a very important um, device in your uh, lab is this RF generator so this is um, you know it is um, uh, <laughs> yeah, a kind uh, of uh, artificial uh, transmitter so this RF generator will produce of course um, RF and uh, you will send your RF in your in your radio to check your receiver and um, yeah without uh, the ability to to check uh, um, a transceiver yeah, you you are lost because uh, you really need to do both sides transmitter and receiver and uh, while you have your um, signal generator connected to, to your radio um, you will need a feedback from your radio so that you can evaluate uh, what you are doing and therefore um, we have this little nice output meter and uh, this uh, output meter is uh, home brewed so uh, this was uh, a project um, with a school class um, so for an electronic course and uh, this is really very uh, easy to build I will uh, show you the schematic in 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 a bit so that uh, is uh, very very easy and uh, this output meter will be connected to your loudspeaker jack at uh, your CB radio and then you feed in your audio frequency and that is the received and demodulated audio frequency back to this output meter and uh, in a in a second I will uh, demonstrate it uh, how how it works and this is needed to do an alignment on your receiver circuit so your uh, little transformers which are in uh, the signal pass of your radio and uh, to align this uh, coils and this little RF transformer to the peak right you need this output meter so you are feeding in so you uh, may have uh, often uh, see it in uh, my videos when I use my rotor and uh, Schwarz or my uh, stubby lock to send uh, RF frequency from the generator into the radio and then I feed back the audio signal to um, an output meter because what uh, is built in in my radio uh, communication tester is an uh, output meter as well so uh, an output meter is reading the voltage which is feed it back you know to this meter and uh, that is uh, what it is all about and now you uh, may already see that uh, what we uh, have uh, here is uh, really all um, what you need for um, CB service and yeah of course this is really the minimum you need and this is really a cheap uh, lab equipment so I don't know you can really get it uh, for little money on 
eBay. So maybe all what you can see here is uh, not much more than um, maybe except from uh, the uh, DMM but um, without the DMM all what you can uh, see here so uh, the little watt meter the generator so this little uh, DC power supply um, the uh, home brewed uh, output meter so all together is uh, not really more than 50 60 bucks so you really can start off uh, on a little little budget and uh, yeah then you are directly in the business so that is what you need and uh, that is not too expenses expensive that uh, you could use it um, ex excuse okay so now the radio uh, is connected to our little watt meter and um, well the radio um, is switched on as you can see yeah, I just bring it better into our picture and uh, yeah so it is uh, switched on and when I now um, press uh, the PTT button you already can uh, see that uh, this little radio is producing almost 2 watt um, RF uh, output and uh, that is what we need to know when we are working with it and of course the radio is not connected to an antenna so let me take this uh, away for a second and now you see that uh, there is <laughs> can you see it this is a little dummy load and this uh, dummy load is uh, home brewed as well so you really can start off with uh, such a little easy dummy load so let us have a look a little bit more in detail so and what you uh, can uh, see here is uh, really um, what you uh, need and uh, well of course it is uh, not a super professional one but uh, again we are uh, talking um, on a little uh, budget and uh, therefore you only need uh, a, um, a normal um, PL uh, connector for the radio and uh, this here are simple 400 and 70 ohm resistors and uh, these are eight resistors switched uh, in parallel and uh, that means so we we can uh, check it this uh, eight resistors uh, connected in uh, parallel are yeah let me let me use uh, our dmm for it and uh, i can switch it to 200 uh, ohm and when I now use uh, my leads and uh, connect it to um, this dummy load we can see that uh, we have a resistor uh, it's jumping a bit uh, one, one second can I do it better yeah and you can see we have a resistor of 58 ohm and that is uh, good enough as a little dummy load and uh, well this uh, dummy load is uh, capable for yeah maybe uh, two or three watt um, you can uh, increase the power um, in uh, using a bigger resistors the only thing where you need uh, to focus on is that you are using um, metal uh, oxide resistors because um, you should not use uh, normal resistors because they are not usable usable for RF so what you really need are metal oxide so if you're using metal oxide and uh, you are doing it like this 
eight resistors of 470 uh, ohm in parallel then you will get an impedance which uh, is uh, very close to our needed 50 ohm and uh, well once again um, when I now put it on the uh, output side of our um, of our watt meter so that is all what I do I just connect it uh, to the antenna side um, and that's uh, it and uh, now uh, the radio is uh, still connected to our little uh, watt meter and uh, I can uh, check the uh, SWR as well so this is here for adjustment so you put it here on the set mark and now I can um, really measure the SWR and uh, radio is still on uh, transmit and you see the needle does not move uh, so that means the uh, SWR is uh, one to one so that is uh, what we need and when I now switch it over to uh, power and I press uh, the PTT you uh, can read the watt scale and you see that uh, this little radio is uh, almost producing um, 2 watt RF output so and that is uh, the first uh, check you need uh, to do so you can uh, then go into the radio and you can uh, check the circuits you can take your uh, DC measurements and very often you are able to find your problem simply with uh, this uh, little equipment okay and now the generator is uh, already connected uh, to the radio and uh, you can see here our S meter so the signal is uh, nice and strong um, yeah when I would disconnect it here so uh, we would uh, of course have noise right and uh, when I connect it back to the radio so you recognize uh, directly that uh, we have a strong signal so now we know uh, this radio is uh, able to receive and uh, of course um, this radio is able to produce um, a tone so we are modulating our RF uh, signal with a tone and uh, the tone gets uh, demodulated here in the radio and what you can hear is a tone okay so that is um, the first thing we see now of course uh, you see we are able to we are able to adjust uh, the frequency with uh, our frequency dial and uh, well I mean this tone is uh, really annoying and uh, during um, alignment procedure you do not want uh, to have this tone always uh, in your lap so you want uh, a silent uh, lap that you really can concentrate of uh, your alignment procedure well and therefore um, we have our little output meter and uh, we put really as I already said um, with this little um, jack to the um, loudspeaker output of our radio so we connect our output meter to it so what you can uh, hear right now the inter internal tone is uh, disabled okay and uh, we put our our uh, audio frequency to our output meter okay so and uh, what you can see 
I zoom it in now and I hope we can see it uh, maybe I can get it a bit better into the picture yeah I guess that that is nice and um, with our volume control at the radio I can preset our output meter okay so what you see here is now the value the voltage the, the audio output voltage from our audio amplifier okay and um, I would of course uh, preset it to a value which uh, is a good uh, starting point so for uh, instance uh, 40 and um, well the interesting fact is that uh, we do not need a real reading so that is not really necessary what we need is uh, the tendency so you know when we are now starting our receiver alignment and uh, we are searching uh, for peaks we start at uh, this point for instance and then uh, we start turning our transformers in the receiver signal pass and um, we would see any change in the radio at our output meter and we would of course adjust our signal pass and uh, the respective uh, transformers RF transformers inside we would of course adjust uh, to the peak value and therefore this um, output meter is uh, really handy and uh, here is our Schemar of uh, the output meter and as you see it is uh, very very simple so um, what uh, it does is it uh, rectifies the incoming audio so normally it is about one kilohertz uh, audio signal which uh, comes from your uh, CB radio from the um, uh, audio final stage and uh, um, it comes here into our uh, output meter and uh, we are having two germanium diodes as rectifier so the signal which uh, is of course AC um, will be rectified to a DC and uh, then it will be um, it will be uh, put over a 70 a 47 kilo ohm resistor to our little meter and in our case it is a 100 micro amp so 100 micro ampere meter which uh, is connected to this little circuit so we need this both um, capacitors so this uh, c2 is one microfarad and the c1 is 10 microfarad this is working as a couple conden uh, condenser and uh, the c2 is uh, to you know load get a load uh, from the rectifier circuit and then um, the result can be displayed on our little meter and therefore you see it is a very very simple um, schematic and uh, this is really easy to build so the parts you need are not very expensive and uh, that is a nice uh, weekend uh, project for instance and then at least you put it in such uh, a little housing and uh, yeah once again you uh, can uh, see it 
Yeah, it is a micro amp, amp, amp meter and uh, the maximum is uh, 100 uh, micro amps but in the way we uh, have connected it it is reading the voltage coming from the audio final stage in our radio and that is what we need so this is uh, if you like um, really uh, uh, an AC voltmeter our output meter is in reality an AC output uh, AC um, uh, uh, voltmeter so that is what it is and um, yeah it is really easy so you can uh, read our our value and uh, once again it is not important the um, real voltage what is behind this uh, 40 whatever it is not important for us we have only one interest we want to see if the signal gets better so that means more in the 100 um, milli uh, microamp direction or if it ge gets worse so in the zero direction and that is what you adjust in your in your um, receiver signal pass I mean you know there is a lot of uh, behind all um, the uh, theory of uh, how a radio works and uh, you should uh, know a little bit about how electronics uh, in, 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 in general works and uh, in particular how your CB radio works but uh, you know I uh, have uh, heard very often that uh, uh, especially younger um, school boys telling me hey um, yeah uh, we have now electronics in school and uh, I know a little bit here and there and mm, I would like to start and uh, well but I do not have enough money and it is uh, also expensive and well you see it here um, it uh, is really a nice setup to start off so nothing special and nothing of course for uh, an experienced uh, uh, engineer so that is uh, for sure but to start I can really rec recommend this uh, setup and uh, you will be definitely happy well and I do not want to go uh, into the uh, electronics um, today and uh, I do not want to explain it uh, so that is not the purpose of uh, this video and it's not the idea of this video but uh, just to show you what I mean when I'm talking about these little RF transformers so we have uh, of course in uh, the signal pass so it is on the transmitter side and it is uh, also on the receiver side we have always this little uh, transformers everywhere in uh, the circuit and uh, this uh, um, needs to be aligned that uh, the radio has full performance and therefore you need of course on on uh, the uh, T TX uh, side you need uh, your um, watt meter and uh, on the receiver side you need of course your uh, output meter as minimum well basically uh, that's uh, it what uh, I wanted uh, to show you uh, today and um, well I uh, hope you will now have an idea how you can start uh, off if you are interested uh, in electronics and uh, in particular in um, the CB radio uh, hobby 
and uh, if you are a hobbyist in uh, electronic so this could be your start off point and uh, well so I do not want to uh, do it uh, any longer I hope you uh, got the idea and uh, you uh, understood what you need and uh, therefore I um, would uh, say uh, catch you next time and uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, if you like it and uh, if it uh, makes any sense uh, to you ju just give me a big thumb up for this video thank you and bye bye